Hello everyone, I'm Elle and welcome to my channel. Today I have an update for my lipstick roulette. I have a lot of things to talk about, so let's just get started. The first lipstick I have is from Clinique. This is the Clinique Pop Lip Color Plus Primer in Fab Pop. This is a very light, pale pink with sort of a cream finish. I liked this a lot. I, I did not necessarily like the color and I'm sure that this is probably one of like the least flattering lip colors on me, but I don't particularly care. And when I wore this lipstick, I reapplied it a lot. Uh, I liked the way that it wore, I liked the way that it felt. Yes, it's very creamy. It does not have good staying power, but that's okay. Um, I didn't mind it. Um, I'm planning on hanging on to this. There's not a whole lot left in this lipstick, so I think that this is something that I could probably pan at some point, especially where it's so creamy and you do need to reapply it a lot if you are planning to wear it for a full day. So I did like it. I like to use it. This is one that I had drawn randomly through the roulette portion of this project during the last update. So this was, I was satisfied using it. It's not like a spectacular thing, not one of my, my top favorite things, but I definitely didn't hate it. So it's staying there for now. The next lipstick I have is this mini guy from Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Drench Lip Splash Lipstick in Beach Bum. This is a beautiful muted medium rosy brown with more of a cream finish. It's very similar to the Clinique in consistency. I did find that the Tarte had better staying power than the Clinique did though, which is funny because the Clinique one boasts having this lip primer in it and I just didn't find that that one lasted long at all. But this one lasted fairly well for being a standard sort of cream um, satiny type lipstick. It's not top of the top, um, but it's a pretty good like middle of the road lipstick that I, I could definitely see myself reaching for again. The next lipstick I have is from Marc Jacobs. This is another mini. This is the Le Marc Lip Creme Lipstick in Magenta. And I really liked this one. This is the kind of dark vampy colors that I love. I find that they are very flattering to my skin tone. Um, the, like the deep magenta sort of almost wine stained kind of lips. That's what I really love. And when I'm feeling sort of you know, dramatic and vampy, these are the kind of shades that I go for. It's called a lip cream uh, or lip creme, but I don't find it to be anywhere near like the previous two, like the Clinique and the Tarte are very creamy and they look creamy. This one is almost matte, like at least in my opinion, maybe it was just comparing it to those other formulas, but it seemed more like a demi matte kind of lipstick. So there's definitely that little bit of shine in there, but it's not overly creamy. I did notice a little bit of feathering, which I think could have easily been stopped with a clear lip liner and even layering just a matching lip liner underneath this lipstick would have helped a lot. The next lipstick I have here is from Too Faced. This is another deluxe size. This is the Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Fuchsia. I love hot pink lipsticks. Absolutely love hot pink. And I find that I get the most compliments when I wear like bright lipsticks like this. Like when I wear a hot pink or a purple, that's the time people notice like what I'm wearing on my face and they're calling me out on it. Like, I like your lipstick, what are you wearing? And this was no exception. I love the packaging of this. Uh, again, it is a deluxe size. I don't have a full size of any of these melted lipsticks, um, but I love the applicator. I love that you squeeze it up and then the product comes out on that like felt top and you just can really apply it very easily into your lips. I find that it applies very nicely. It's a great packaging for a, for a sort of liquid lipstick formula. Um, it does not dry down. It's not matte. It's definitely more of a, um, a shiny sort of lipstick. It does say it's a long wear lipstick. I didn't find that it really was that long wearing for me. Um, it lasted me about like three hours or so just with normal usage before I had to reapply. So not the best of the best, but not the worst either. Um, but it's easy to reapply, so I didn't mind that. It's just something that I wouldn't want to wear out or somewhere where I wouldn't be able to like check my lipstick to reapply, especially a bright color like this. Um, not that it really wore kind of weirdly, but it just sort of faded. And so again, maybe a lip liner or something like that would have helped better with that, but 
the color itself is beautiful the formula is very nice because it's so creamy and thick um, it really applies thickly but it's not goopy and it's not tough to spread out with the applicator it's really easy to get even coverage that covers your whole your whole lips so everything is very even and you get that one sort of consistency you're not worried about patchiness or anything like that next i have a lipstick from mac i'm sure you guys all know what the packaging of this thing looks like already uh, this is a matte lipstick in russian red i'm not a big red lipstick person but i like to have red lipstick on hand because I will reach for it every now and then. There's something about red lipstick, like a good true red, that just makes me want to do winged eyeliner and just feel very throwback. I liked this particular lipstick because it felt very, very Marilyn Monroe. Like when I put it on, I was like, okay, I get it now. It's it's, it's a classy kind of color. I didn't wear it for that long, honestly. This is like a weekend lip color where it's like, okay, I'm gonna try it out and just see if it's something that I can see keeping and using. And honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. The more I do challenges like this and the more I'm trying different lipsticks, the more I, can, I see like, yeah, okay, especially with a more neutral face, I like a red lipstick. But anyway, the matte lipsticks from MAC are some of my favorites. They are a bit dry. Now, especially in comparison to with other things, um, they are very dry, but because they are dry, I find that they apply much better and there's no, no slip. So there's less chance that you're going to accidentally get the lipstick elsewhere. Um, I don't notice a lot of like transferring or fading or feathering because it's a lot easier to be precise because the lipstick is more dry. So that is a benefit of it. Um, on the lips itself, it does feel a little bit drying, somewhat similar to like a really, really matte liquid lipstick. You know, once you've let it dry and sit down, some, some of them just sort of sit heavily on the lips. That sort of is what this feels like. It, it, you definitely know you're wearing a lipstick when you have the MAC matte lipsticks on, but I don't mind it. Like there's a time and a place for that. And the payoff is that you get like the full opaque coverage that does last a fairly long time, especially for a bullet lipstick. Next, I have a couple from Kat Von D. I have one full size and one deluxe size. The full size lipstick I have is called Noble. And Noble is a very light, pale, peachy nude color. This is the lipstick I always, always reach for whenever I do a green eye because there's so much yellow in this. I just find that it just balances an orange eyeshadow look so much and this is this is just the first thing that always pops in my head and usually what I always end up going with. It is very very patchy. It's really hard to get full coverage with this thing. Very hard. Um, you are putting quite a few layers on and spending quite a bit of time trying to like blend everything together so it looks somewhat even and it still usually doesn't look totally even. Uh, it's fine as long as you're not super up close with someone. Um, like I don't mind wearing it in videos as long as I'm sort of back a little bit from the camera because when I get too close I feel like you can see all like the lines in my lips and you can see that it's sort of uneven. Um, I don't like to wear this a lot in public on its own for that reason. This is a great mixer though. This is one of the light liquid lipsticks that I have that yes I will wear it on its own but it also it's such a good thing to have to mix with other things to make them a little bit lighter to make them a little bit more on the yellow side sometimes I will pair this with another nude lipstick like a more like a true nude um, to bring out more of those peachy tones or more yellow tones like if I'm doing sort of a like a blue um, or green sort of eye. I don't want to just do straight noble that I can mix them together. So I do really like this one a lot um, more for the mixing purposes than just to wear straight out on its own. But I have worn this quite a bit and I feel like I'm going to continue to wear this quite a bit in the future. The next Kat Von D is this little mini of Lolita. And I thought this was going to be an easy one to get rid of. When I use noble, I thought, okay, I'm going to pull another Kat Von D one like Lolita, one that I knew I don't like, so that way I can easily get rid of something else. And then I put it on and I went, holy crap, I love this. Why was I thinking I didn't? I don't know if this is Lolita 1 or Lolita 2 because I lost the sticker off of the bottom, um, but this is more of a reddish brown. And I swear it looked differently the last time I put it on. 
it just does not look the same in my memory anyway. Um, I remember it being something completely different and I'm, I'm wearing it today but I also have paired it with a lip liner Colourpop's Grunge as well as a eyeshadow layered on top of it from the Urban Decay After Dark palette so I just kind of created my own thing but the base is still pretty much Lolita um, because that reddish brown sort of 90s lipstick I like and that's not what I was getting out of this when I used it um, the first few times when I wanted to like it because everyone was talking about it and I did not like it. I would have just tossed this if I hadn't done my lipstick roulette. So this is one of the things that, make, that makes me really grateful I decided to do this as opposed to just going with my gut and tossing things from my declutter because I would have made that initial you know gut decision based off of a swatch on the back of my hand and that doesn't really tell you a whole lot. The next lipstick I have here is the infamous Dose of Colors Stone. The formula of this lipstick is so freaking good. It's so good. This formula reminds me a lot of the Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipsticks. I mean, I only have one of those two, just like I only have one of these, um, but they reminded me of each other formula and consistency wise. Um, this is very liquidy, applies very and very easily. It's almost like just putting water on your lips, but then it dries down matte in seconds and it feels like nothing. It feels like nothing at all on your lips and it just looks incredible. This is a beautiful color. It's like a purpley pink with some gray undertones in it. So I love that it leans more towards the cool side. I find that it's very flattering on me. Um, I, I really loved wearing this color a lot. Next, I have one of the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce this one. Um, Bachi, I think, B-A-C-I. I tried looking it up how to pronounce it and there were so many different variations that I just figured I'd just go with one of them. This is a beautiful color that's actually very, very similar to Stone, but this one has even stronger cool tones in it. So this was probably my favorite lipstick that I wore over the last two weeks. Um, I love the formula of the Stila Stay All Day. These are This is also one of my top, like, if I had to, to rate, like, a top five liquid lipsticks, um, the ColourPop would definitely be up there, and so would the Stila. They are so comfortable. They are a little bit moussey when you first apply them, but it dries down. Like, not as quickly as the Dose of Colors, but it still does dry down from the packaging to the formula to the color to the application. It's all perfect for me. So very high score, very happy I have this one. Next I have an ultra satin liquid lipstick from Colourpop. This is Marshmallow. Uh, I just wore this one in a recent video. This is a very cool purple gray lipstick. Gorgeous. Uh, I love the ultra satins because they are more comfortable than the ultra mattes. I'm not going to spend very long talking about the Colourpop ultra satins or the ultra mattes because I feel like all I do in these videos is rave about them. So if you missed any of my previous updates, you could always go check them out. I do have a playlist with my lipstick roulette. So you can hear my thoughts all about the ultra satin and the ultra matte liquid lipsticks from Colourpop. But basically they are the top of the top for me. I love them a lot. And this color is no exception. Cool toned things um, can make me look a little dead sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta go with the living dead kind of zombie look and embrace it. I'm all for it. I do have two ultra mattes that I used. Uh, the first one is airplane mode. This is one that I had drawn randomly from the roulette portion of the challenge. This is one of the peach lipsticks. This one has a little bit uh, stronger brown undertones in it and I love it. Brown and peach, fantastic. Um, I could just go on and on and on and I'm not going to. So this is a very high score for me, of course. And the other ultra matte is called Bad Habit, and this is a beautiful plummy pink shade. It's very, very vibrant, gorgeous. Um, I do find that there's like a little bit of cool undertones in this, so I think that it is very flattering on me. Um, I didn't notice any sort of issues with it. I found that this one applied really easily. There was no patchiness, no flakiness. This is another winner. I. I think I have a, quite a few more of these ultra mattes and ultra satins which I will get through over the next few months. 
So that brings me to the few that I am destashing. So during the roulette portion of the last update, I pulled a Revlon lipstick. This is one of the super lustrous lipsticks, one of the creme finishes in Love That Pink. I did not use this. Um, I then decided that I would take that opportunity to look at some of the other Revlon lipsticks I had and see if I wanted to keep them or not. And I have decided to get rid of two other ones, so three total. So I did not wear Love That Pink. Um, I looked at it when I swatched it and it's just not a color that I like, uh, that I like wearing. Um, I also decided to get rid of the pearl finish in Skyline Pink because it's just so light and frosty. No. And I did wear this one, um, another creme finish. This is in Demure. I did wear this one. I really was not that impressed with it. And if I'm just going to be honest, this packaging of lipstick just feels very matronly to me. It just, I feel like this is something that like someone's grandmother would use. No offense to anyone who likes these lipsticks. It's just a personal feeling that I have and I think I, I have to consider that. If I don't want to carry a, this kind of lipstick with me, then I need to I need to take that seriously. So these three from Revlon are going. I'm also getting rid of Sunset Angora from L'Oreal because I did not wear this one either. I did swatch it a couple of times and I looked at it and it's so, it looks so sheer and I remember using it a few times, I think even maybe last summer. Um, I, I'm not interested in keeping this one. I think I can confidently get rid of it. I don't have any like lingering feelings, any lingering doubt about getting rid of it. And I still didn't use the Burberry Kisses in Military Red. It's pretty. It's definitely very, very pretty, um, but I just didn't use it. And I gave it a second chance. I'm not giving it a third chance. I didn't wear it, uh, so I can I can let it go. At this point, I'm gonna let it go. All right, so here is the box of lipsticks. Uh, as always, I've been choosing seven lipsticks at random, and that leaves me room to play with throughout the next two weeks. So let's pick the first one. We have... Oh, one of the NYX liquid suede. This is the full size one that I have. This is an amethyst. Um, this gives me an excuse to use the last couple I have left of the mini guys as well. So this is a good thing. The second lipstick is, oh, from Lime Crime. It is black velvet. So it's a black liquid lipstick. The third lipstick is from ColourPop an ultra matte in guess this is going to be a pretty fun week lipstick number four is going to be from uh, l'oreal this is golden splendor and this is a gold lipstick five is from nars and this is cruella lipstick number six is from Colourpop as well. Um, this is one of the ultra metallic lipsticks. This is in JIC. Okay, and the last lipstick that I am picking is uh, from Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani collection. This is the lipstick in Ex Girlfriend. So there you have it. These are going to be the lipsticks that I will be playing around with over the next two weeks. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I've talked about, anything in this update, anything about this challenge in particular. Let me know if you have any feedback, if there's anything I could do to improve this in any way, any ideas you might have, just let me know. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you hopefully very soon. Bye.